All right, problem 13, we have a system of linear equations. We are going to try to solve it by substitution. So because they're both already solved for y, we can set mx plus b equal to mx plus b, just like that. And again, you can have it flipped around. You could have 4x minus 1 equal negative 8x minus 13. It doesn't matter. But we set our mx plus b equal to mx plus b. I went ahead and added 8x to both sides, which left me with negative 13 equals 12x minus 1. Now we add one to get the variable by itself and that cancels right there. And we're left with 12x equals negative 12 and we divide by 12 and we get negative one. Make sure you pay attention to your negatives because you may have got a positive one here and that might be why you got it wrong. So we can take our negative one, x equals negative one and plug it in to one of our original equations. I went ahead and picked four x minus one because there's no negative out front. We plug in negative one and we get y equals negative 5. Again, make sure when you type in your answer, you pay attention to negatives. Now that should be the answer. Let's just go ahead and double check here. And it is in fact the correct answer. If we plug in negative 1 for x and negative 5 for y, we make both linear equations true. And I said linear, very, very strange there. Let me know if you catch it. Comment if you caught on number 13 if, I, if you heard me say learn instead of linear.